Hey guys, this is Mr. Seek. This video, I'll be going over our two T side defaults that we're going to run. Now, the defaults on train are the slower tactics. There are rush tactics, of course. You can jump out Olaf. You can do a B rush, but these are going to be the slow tactics. Uh, first one I'm going to go over is the Ivy take. And the most important thing about the Ivy take, ironically, is that the Ivy players. The Ivy players pretty much just shoot because Ivy is just a tunnel. You can you throw a flashbang. There are a couple of nades, but the only nades that are needed are the two players who don't go Ivy. So three players go Ivy, one player goes decon, one player goes box halls. Now the decon player is gonna at the beginning of the round can come to this manhole, look at this pipe, and go up until he gets to the sun and throw. And you come out, come out, decon. Um, I guess you could push up and like check close ladder, but normally, um, normally I go here because offers do like to peak that angle, also that angle. So, but you are protected from Z if you throw that smoke. The sec and the box hall player is going to go to this corner and look at the corner of this building. I think it'll land the same if you throw there. Um, and I know Fallen from SK throws it there. I don't know what the benefit is. So I just throw it right in the middle because I can remember it. But like I'll show you. Like These three throws all land in the same spot. Oh. That one's a little different. What happened? Oh, it hit the... Which one was that? Is that this one? Is that why Fallen does that? No, see, that time it worked. Well, anyway, if you don't botch the smoke in a weird fashion like I did, that smoke will smoke 5 6. And then you run up here. Flashes are good because it makes it look like we're taking box hall control. You hold this. Make sure you don't push up ladder. Make sure, I mean, you're not making sure they don't push up box halls. You're just kind of letting the rest of the team know if they do. If they do, take a shot, go down ladder, or take a shot, re peek. How did that line slip me? I'm getting the weirdest bounces of these grenades. Like, just in the last five minutes, it's ridiculous. Anyway. So the box hall player. Make sure they, like, watch ladder, watch box halls, or brown halls, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's brown. These are the white halls. This is kitchen, just so we know the call outs. Brown or box halls, because it's brown, and it's got boxes in it. Whoa. What else? Yeah, that's what you do. You come up here. Now I'll explain what the smokes were for. Now, if we do an A rush, we're going to throw these smokes. So, we'll, like, often we'll throw those smokes and just run out Olaf, like with a flashbang, just a rush tactic. And to defeat that, one of the IV players needs to take this fight. Needs to, like, because if, because if, that the terrorists can get hell. Like A side is super exposed, so you need to you need to fight this at least a little bit. Or the other option is you can come up here and hold the left side of the electric box. Um, the reason we throw those smokes on an IV play is because when you come up here, you want this one on one duel. So as I said, there'll be three people. So one person will be back here with a flash, and throw there. You stand at the yellow line, you look at the top left corner of this, is it a trapezoid? It's like a trapezoid on top of a rectangle. You throw that, you throw that flash, blind yourself, but it also blinds an offer who might be watching there. So, throw your flash, don't blind yourself, and that didn't go far enough, whatever. And you take this fight. 
and you push up Ivy. And ideally, this guy will still be distracted, or he moved up here, so that as the first two guys are taking that fight, the third guy can throw that smoke. So these first two guys can, can wrap and take out, take out the Ivy player. The Ivy setup is all about rushing that Ivy player. And if you, if you don't, like if he's got an AWP and he kills one of you and he falls back, um, I'll likely cancel it and say, yo, come back. We'll, we'll do an A rush, we'll throw. Like we've still got three smokes. We'll throw some A smokes and, um, and just try and get a rush bomb plant. But that's the uh, that's like the ideal scenario if you're doing an ivy rush. Is you rush out ivy, you kill that opper, and then hopefully you can get a kill on the camera player because you can like wrap around and kill him. But I guess I shouldn't get ahead of myself. So box hall control. What's the other one I'm talking about? Well, one of the players, one of the ivy players is going to come here and watch this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't come up here because you're, you're too far away from the rest of the team to really be helpful. If you're here, you can still, it's a short rotate out decon. It's not even a horrible rotate if you want to get to ladder. I don't recommend having the bomb though. So yeah, jump up on this ledge and you can hold, you can hold Ivy. If you've gotten off, it's good. But I think for this team, I'd rather have our opper. I don't know who's going to op like day to day, but I'd rather have an op in upper halls, just because I've noticed that you guys tend to prefer like aggressive opping as opposed to passive opping. Suits me just fine. Um, it's just if you want an aggressive opper, this is not the place. <laughs> if you want to aggressively go op halls, definitely go halls. So next guy. Come here, wait for nades. You can try and bait nades by doing stuff like that. If they smoke it off and you know there's and the opera's been sighted elsewhere, you can come out here and do some like crafty lurking. Kerrigan likes to play like that. But mostly just hold this. Now the other, the rest of us are going to be going B. And I recommend throwing some kind of flashbang. The blind, that went too far. It's kind of tricky to throw that flashbang because if it lands, like there's, you can throw it like that, but then it lands on the ground. See, that one didn't go far enough. But even if it lands like right on the ground, it won't blind this guy because there's sort of a ledge here. So the flash is, let's see, is that a good one? That might be the best. Didn't go quite far enough, but yeah, the bounce throw is the way to go. I guess I'll get something to work on, huh? But I can't go that high. I don't fucking know. Maybe just peek it and take the duel. Anyway, one person's gonna jump across and hold any offer. Kill any offer who tries to peek. It's, it's not super common, but it's a way to get an easy frag if they do try and peek up her. And other than that, just like come up here and hope they peek you. Um, if you're play if you're the upper player, you can come up to this box. Hiko likes to play here, I know. Let's see, Taco does too. You can throw that smoke. That is you throw it on the wall just to the right of the door, and that'll let you get out. And then throw that molly. And you can get anyone close. Get anyone close, get anyone on that train. You can get it. I eh. I would peek this. I wouldn't peek that. That's just that's just dumb. So come out here, try and get a pick. And the execute we do off of that is come up to this grimy bit, throw Right above, right above like this part of the B, and like right on this, right on the edge of the wall. 
and then also there. And then you can throw some flashes over. That's a deep one, the second one's a close one. So it'll smoke that and that so you can get a bomb plant. And again, this should be molly. So you don't need to worry about anyone wrapping wrapping this side, because the upper player will have that. And you can get a nice quick bomb plant if they're only playing one guy on B. Which I like most setups are one B. If they if they play two B, one's gonna be playing Z with an op. And there's a smoke for that too. You come up to this part of the wall, wedge yourself into this corner, and look up at this part of the rail and, and do a like you can't run it's a running throw, but you can't run too far. You take like one step and throw. I'll show you where that lands. It bounces and it lands right there. If you throw it oh good. If you throw it too far, it'll land you can't see in the smoke. It'll land there. And so an opera will be able to like come around the corner. So you can't it's just the smoke is just close enough. As this fades, there. If you miss it, the opera will be able to take this fight, which can be rather dangerous. But yeah, that's how we're gonna play T side train. Um, at least to begin with. There's some rush stuff you can do. You can rush out B fast, you can rush out A fast. I don't usually recommend rushing out Ivy because it's so common to have an offer there. But yeah, these are going to be our slow tactics on train. <laughs>